from an engineer who briefly floated in the seas of the corporate world to the visionary who excelled in the startup universe krishna developed the art of building experimenting and rebuilding this artistry helped him establish himself as the pioneer in the world of professional upskilling krishna is a landmine of stories experiences and insights and he believes everyone has a story on simply learns very own homegrown podcast as simple as that krishna will be donning the hat of a podcaster conversing with learners industry leaders business partners and anyone who has insights to share in this episode we will get to see krishna conversing with simply learn learner karthik shrinivas a mechanical engineering graduate karthik started off as a bpo executive and then explored the digital marketing universe this exploration finally led him to a performance marketing role with a significant hike in this conversation karthik talks about his journey so far and the importance of upskilling so let's dive right in Hello everyone welcome to as simple as that uh, today i'm going to speak with uh, Karthik Srinivas Karthik is an engineer is a marketer and now an entrepreneur and he did everything in the last 6 years so who is Karthik let let him directly introduce himself so Karthik why don't you tell my audience on what's your background and, and how do you like to get introduced hi krishna first of all nice to meet you and uh, thank you for having me on the show so i come from a town called konnur okay so it is a very small town part of the nilgiri district in tamil nadu okay and basically it is a small hill station part of this western ghat it's very popular hill station i know for sure i've seen photos and uh, clips of kunur unfortunately i've never been to kunur but i would love to go at some point yeah it's a really a beautiful place you have to like visit once oh. at least so basically it is a small hill station part of the western ghats and uh, if you see the journey from a small town like kunur to bangalore was like a tough and challenging one my childhood was without my father so i lost my father at the age of like 18 so it was my mother who took care of me and my and my sister so i started doing my engineering so during my college days i used to uh, work for one of my father's friend who owned the uh, distribution ship for a beverage company for my area okay so it was at that time i got introduced to like sales and marketing but it was just a part time so i didn't thought like much about it and after completing my graduation i started working as a service executive for an automobile company and i was 22 at that time and uh, that was the time i lost my mother so at that time i was with a huge responsibility of taking care of my younger sister so uh, we moved to a city in uh, called coimbatore in tamil nadu so like i start my sister started doing her graduation over there and then i switched from the automobile sector to the bpo just for the only reason that i was getting a higher pay so that i was able to manage my expenses and all those things uh, but the process that i was in the bpo was again a sales process for the us region so i was trained on sales and uh, with my previous field experience i was able to like excel in the role that i was doing but always i thought like this is not the place where i belong so i wanted to do something uh, a different and this was the time when the pandemic hit and slowly the world was like getting back to normal and i had one of my friend who was in the digital marketing field and uh, i just like spoke to her and with the basic understanding of what digital marketing is i decided okay this is what i wanted to do and at this time my sister completed her graduation and she was able to like help me financially so what i did is i just prepared myself for a entry level uh, interview and i cracked a job in a uh, digital marketing agency as an intern so i started as an intern and uh, i learned the basics and um, i was able to like implement the strategies and the learnings that i have got and i was able to like perform well and uh, after a couple of months the learning was like limited and uh, this was at this time i thought okay i should do a professional degree in digital marketing and at this time i did my research online and i got to know about like simply learn and uh, that's how i enrolled for a course in uh, for a digital marketing in simply learn and completed it and uh, that was the ticket for a small town boy like me to come to a high tech city like bangalore so right now so did you join a company in bangalore yeah so i got an uh, hike with like 30 percentage then i moved to uh, bangalore uh, i joined as an uh, uh, for a senior role in the digital marketing agency so you moved your sister also no 
No, like uh, my sister, she stayed in Bangalore and she completed her graduation and she is now married. First of all, let me tell you that we are very brave boy, like using parents at such a young age, taking care of uh, your younger, younger sister and still thinking about growth is not that easy. Not everybody can do that. People get into like depression and whatnot. So I think uh, you've done a great job. So thank you. And I, I, it's my pleasure to be speaking with you and I wish you all the best for the future. And while we we'll continue the conversation, I couldn't stop you wishing uh, all the best based on whatever story I heard about you. Thank you. Now let's get a little deeper. So what engineering did you do? Like what was the engineering? Sir? I did uh, engineering in mechanical. So that's how I started working in the automobile service. So I was passionate for these machines and uh, automobiles and all those things. So I started. But I couldn't, uh, because of my uh, farming situation at that time, I couldn't do. Then I understood that I got some, uh, have some idea or passion for like uh, sales, marketing and all those things. So that's how I thought, okay, let me do like this marketing. So this is going to be the like, big thing for the next uh, decade. Got it. So when you started, uh, so you have like very diverse background, right? You also had a little bit of not a normal, uh, like uh, I'll say a childhood because of your family situation and then you worked in your father's friend in sales and marketing so you got a first hand experience on how beverages are sold and how this distribution ship is done right I'm sure that you must be a distributor and uh, giving it to all the retail outlets so that was one experience then you had experience as in, in automobile service sector also that's again a very different kind of sector so I think uh, you got exposed to multiple industries you got exposed to this whole retail industry through distribution ship you also got exposed to an automobile sector with um, uh, your service experience and both of them being in Kunur must be a SME, like a small company, right? Correct. So did you see some parallels in the challenges of be the retail companies in Kunur or be the automobile companies in, in Kunur? Do you, could you draw some parallels that, okay, companies of a certain size, which are the smaller companies in the smaller cities, have similar kind of challenges? Uh, yeah, this is one major challenge which every uh, small town boy like faces. So in your hometown, you are comfortable with the people or with the company you're working or with the people like you're interacting and when you move to a city like Kwamedo to like Chennai or like Bangalore the first thing is like the exposure what you get is like something different. so first to adapting to that itself is a bigger challenge so you get to like meet different people so you have to like get along with them learn how to talk all the basic things and how to communicate so those were the initial challenges that I faced so but like I was able to like work on those skills and once I got my basics right I was able to like again okay uh, take the next step with, with the confidence. Okay. So Kunur, while it's a small uh, town, it's very popular and is, is a hill station. A lot of people have big houses there. Hospitality sector is, I'm assuming, should be good because a lot of people want to go for a short term vacation in Kunur. You never thought about getting into hospitality sector? Uh, no, uh, I was very, since I got introduced to this like distribution, retail ship, and all those things. So I was like very much interested in the retail industry. Okay. So maybe I could think of in the long term, I will be I will be part of this like retail uh, industry. So I just wanted to learn the basics right from what is marketing, what is production, what is managing, what is distribution, and all those things. So once that, I'll be able to like excel in that. Now, when you uh, first heard about digital marketing from your friend. And you started learning on your own on the internet. What was your thought? Like you wanted to like serve the local again local businesses in Kunur, in and around Kunur, or the idea was to do join a big company or maybe sit in Kunur and serve customers all across the world. What was the first thing that excited about that? Okay, looks like getting into digital marketing is a better career option for me than working in the auto sector as a in the service side. So when I thought about doing this, uh, the first thing I had was like self doubt because my graduation was from engineering, okay. and but I'm moving to a different field yeah. that is like sales marketing. That is completely like new terminologies and yeah. everything is like new for me. So first, what I thought was okay, let me have an understanding of what it is first. So I just uh, do it, did my like research online. But got to know what are the terminologies, what are the things, and all those things. And after that, I was able to like find mentors, so like uh, who have people who are already in the field. So I used to like ask them what it is, and in case if I'm planning to do this, what I'm supposed to do. So in that case, like I had like got a got a lot of people who gave me like good advice. Okay, so first like you start uh, start as an intern, so you work for a small agency, so you get an understanding. Because uh, when you join like a big company, you might be limited the sub for the services. But when you start with the startup, you get to get into like all kind of shoes. So right from like planning, right from the like running ads, right yeah. from like execution and all those things. So uh, Karthik, I completely, completely agree based on my experience also that you learn a lot when you're in a smaller setup because in smaller setup, roles and departments are not that well different. Correct. So you pretty much get exposed to 
every kind of work that an agency does as you go in a big company everything is competitive that is a different compartment so only get exposed to one part so that part is is definitely like uh, true but tell me when you were into auto service sector to going and joining as an intern in a small time agency it's also the risk because i'm assuming that auto companies are always much must be distributed or at least you don't have to worry about your paycheck and all you get it so were they paying you the same amount of money or it took a risk that even though they are paying me less it's more unstable i still want to build my career in that direction and i want to go and join them yeah it was a risk that i took at that time because i thought okay i'm this year 23 or 24 so like i'm still young so i'll like maybe a couple of flip three to four years i can take risk and in case even if i fail i'll be able to like go back to the industry and like again start with so i know it's very clear about that so let me take this risk and at the same time my sister completed her graduation she was like working she was able to like help me financially got it so it was like a collective combined risk that we took at that time so again uh, i was like uh, started with a pay of like 70% less of like what i was getting and uh, then i like started slowly so i think i was just want to take a pause and also tell me about is that see people talk about that okay i can't take risk because i don't have a very strong family background i have to manage my expenses and and what not i think there's a lot of for them to learn from you because you didn't also had your parents backing right your sister whose younger sister backed you to take this risk of taking a 70% pay cut and i assume that at entry level the 100% pay cut itself is so small right. so if you're getting 70% you are think you're getting virtually the thing maybe you just were getting petrol for your bike or something to just go from home of to office and office to home right so the only thought i had that time was okay i have foot to film is on and i have like a roof on top of it. so this is my basic need so I have uh, arrangements for that next let me learn and like explore and i can take the risk so how long you worked in that agency and that agency I was working for like 2 years okay. then after that my learning got limited so it was a small agency and this time i thought okay that agency was serving mostly the coimbatore small right. businesses right. so then when i thought of uh, like moving i thought okay bangalore would be the right place so but before going to that i had again i have this fear okay so i have an understanding about all these things but still my experience is like very less compared to like if i wanted to join a big companies in bangalore and at that time only i thought okay i should do some professional courses just for, as a back so that's how i chose like simply learn then i did my uh, course to simply learn once i completed it and i got the pass it's okay now i'm ready i'm ready to join a big company and after that also like three months i was working for that agency and i was able to like implement the strategies and the concepts that i learned from the course in that agency and i was able to like uh, see the results but the only thing was uh, uh, the brands that i was working they were not ready to like scale up all those smaller and local brands smaller and local brands so that's what i thought okay i have to like uh, move to a bigger city or like a bigger environment so i can like, explore so kartik you you joined the course where you were still part of the smaller agency in coimbatore and this course is i think one year long so at what point of time you decided to move out of the agency and how did you well, did you get a new offer or how tell me about that that part of the journey yeah so i was doing this course when i was associated with a small agency yeah. so it was a six month course okay. so once i completed the course and i was still like working for the same agency for like three to four months then after that i got an offer uh, in a company in bangalore with like almost like 30 to 40% hike okay. for the pay what i was getting in bangalore got it and then i decided okay this is the right time i have to make so and this I, agency was a little bigger agency this was in a small agency yeah this is a little bit bigger agency okay. so this agency like worked with like a, a couple of like uh, well established uh, brands local brands or they were opening for international brands also it's majorly like indian you said this okay so how long you worked in that agency yeah with that agency i was working for like almost like one year okay. then after that like i wanted to uh, do my freelancing okay. and i wanted to start my own like company in the future okay. so i thought okay like uh, let me quit my full time job and let me, let me work as a freelancer so tell me this is a very risky idea right that while well, you you did a lot of risky things right moving from automobile to 70% pay cut then moving to bangalore leaving your sister at home i can understand that It's not an easy decision, right? You always have this worry, especially for younger sister and parents are not around. And then you come to come to Bangalore, and within a year you decide that no, I want to get become a freelancer and, and be on be of on my own. So what gave you this confidence? Like where was this confidence coming that okay, now I can also do it and why to work for this agency when I can get work on internet? Ideally, that's what the digital marketing means that you know how to market. So why should you work for anyone? You can market yourself on the internet, get uh, work, deliver those work, and get directly paid. But it is easier said than done, right? There are a lot of challenges. Sometimes you might not get work. Sometimes you might get too much work. Sometimes you might do work, but you won't get paid by your customer. So how did you? What 
where do you make the decision? The first decision is that the sister was ready to back you and you are looking at your combined household income. What was the trigger at this point in time? So more than the confidence that I have, I chose this because of the fear what I got. Because very soon I get into a comfort zone, I'll start thinking, okay, I'm getting into a comfort zone. So I have to like move on. So still like young, you can take the risk. So till like 30, 35, you can take the risk. Yeah. And even after that, like you will be quickly recovered. So only thing is you have to have that family just to like back up, back you up. Or not not just in the terms of like financial, just by the kindness or the cooperation, like whatever you're doing. So in that way, uh, I thought like I don't have like any restriction. So I can take the risk maybe for a couple of years. So like let me try it, let me try it out. And in case even if I try, like uh, I will not be like worried about it. Again, I can start as a as a beginner, then I can do. So how is it going? Like so how long is been that you? No, it's just like uh, three months. So uh, right now I have like three plans that I'm working on. How did you acquire these brands? Uh, these were through my like uh, known contacts. Okay. So I got the uh, brand, and initially I worked for like one brand, and I gave them like this like last two months. Okay. And with that, I uh, I got the uh, contact for the other two brands. So the two brands is like recently I signed them up and I'm starting to work for them. Pretty nice. So how so how do you see this experience? Like, are you really enjoying being on your own? What are the challenges that you see? What what area do you think if I had? So you got some mentors who who suggested you that okay, you can switch the job. You heard them and then you start and you put the plan you're running in a small company with a strong baker. Now at this point of time that you are an entrepreneur and you have three brands which is a very good progress in, in the last three months. What kind of thing that advice and, and access to information or access to mentorship can really help you? Uh, or so you are there really, really that you think that okay, I wish there was somebody who could assist me in this side. No, the only thing is like uh, so if you have like good thoughts and you will have like good people around you and uh, they will be able to like guide you. So that's what like every time when I had a question or like a self doubt, like what I should do next, and somehow like I'll get, I'll get introduced to like some people, and uh, like I'll just like ask them like an open ended question. Like I'm in this situation. Maybe if you are in this situation, what would you do? So I just like take inspiration from that. Okay, fine, let me let me do it. Got it. So I said that you are always open to network. Correct. So if you have any challenge, you're talking to someone who might introduce to somebody else, and, and you're discussing their uh, your issues and. and and then deciding after listening to multiple yeah, people like, what you can. Uh, take the learning from their experience okay. and just like uh, explore and see what it is for you. So very nice. So so now are you based in Bangalore or you're going back to Pune? Uh, actually, I'm like based in Bangalore only. But uh, the brands that I'm working currently are like part of Kerala and like Tamil Nadu. Correct. So now I keep like traveling. Yeah. Okay. But you're going to keep your base in the Bangalore. Correct. Why why Bangalore? Why not? Now that you're on your own. Most of the brands you are going to help them with digital marketing, that means marketing on internet. So you can do pretty much from anywhere, right? That's the promise of internet. Yeah, so why is that Kunu? Yeah, so that's the promise of like we will understand. Yeah. But like Bangalore being the high-tech city, so whatever uh, revolution that happens in the tech industry, so Bangalore is the first place that gets Great that to know. in fact and all those things. So uh, my, my I'm gonna set up my base in Bangalore, but I'm gonna take those slick journeys to the small towns. So that is what. So for that I have to be in Bangalore and understand what is happening. Then I have to like take it to the other small towns. It's very inspiring and, and thanks for any coaching. So now tell me, uh, I also saw for the note that I got from my team is that now that you are doing another analytics course. Right. So tell me about the trigger. See, I, as part of being running simply, I know that marketing analytics are very close. But at what point of time you realize that okay, I know marketing now. There are additional skills that I need to acquire. Yeah. So when it comes to business, there are like multiple aspects, not just like sales, marketing, and all those things. So what I thought was okay, I have an understanding about like marketing. So now I need to like upscale. So uh, when I thought about that, one close thing that I can upscale uh, upscale very quickly was like marketing and analytics. Right. So that's what I thought. Okay, then like I join for another course and simply learn for the business analytics. Right. So once I complete this course, I'll be able to uh, make like a database, like uh, right decisions for the marketing, right. whatever I'm doing. Very nice. So have you completed the course or still doing? I'm still like pursuing. Um, I'll be completing and like maybe the one of the ones. Very nice. So so you are a constant lifelong learner. That not only doing business, but also at every opportunity that you realize that something is missing and something can make you more valuable. You're doing it. So great example of 
how youth should be in my view but tell me like how do your how do your friends look at you i'm sure you had a lot of friends in engineering college many of them might still be in kunur many of them are still working in auto service sector or maybe different different businesses that they got an opportunity to work on and they see you constantly changing from one thing to another to another how do they look at you no know, like my friends find myself like approachable so not just in terms of the digital marketing and other things even if they face any like uh, like challenges they like approach me like uh, they tell me okay i have been this i feel like that so like i'll be able to like share my experience and i'll be giving them my point of view like maybe what i want to done but it's not that like i did this you have to do this maybe it's like your life you just like uh, try to figure out what is happening in this from that uh, like either it's you have to take the risk or you have to do something you have to do or it will be just like uh, With the fear you have to like uh, say, so rather than that, like take the risk and do. So in your view, they look at you as a somebody who's like a hustler or a somebody who's like an inspiration for them, or they think that okay, this guy is unnecessary putting in, puts lots him him into a lot of uh, what we call troubled situation and it's not going to have any real long term result. It's going to be the same thing. No, it depends on the person who's like approaching you. So. And anyway, like if if one of my friend or like any of my colleagues is like approaching me, they might need a solution to yeah. something. Yeah. And if uh, the solution what I give is like if they find it like useful, they they think that okay, like a mentor or like a sir. And if that solution like doesn't fit for them, then they okay, this guy might like put me in this. So that completely depends on the person. I'm the same. Got good, very nice. So now, Karthik, knowing you that you're always trying to see how you can become better, how can how you can do well. What is that you are looking forward in next? I'll, I'll not say five years, maybe next two years. What are, what are do we have? Do we keep create some goals that okay? Now that I'm I'm on my own, I already have clients. Maybe we might add some more team members who are assisting you as you get more more clients that come to you for for your services and your learning analytics. So you can do better decision making. You can look at data in a much better way than what you are used to because I'm sure in digital marketing also there's always some data that you can get, but this is much more intense and much more deep. So, what is that you're looking for? So, more than the goal, like what I focus is the journey. So, yeah, like uh, what I'm planning to do is like I just wanted to build my team. I should have like my own core team, and I should be able to like grow my client as well. And I also like have a thought process that I should like serve my community. Maybe like not in the next like three or five years, maybe ten years down the line, I should be able to like contribute and give it back to the community. Yes, this is a really a great thought. So, as I like to tell to my audience, right, there are a lot of uh, learners who come to Simply Learn, and we have a large base of free learners also. So, not everybody can afford and, and take our paid program. So, on our Simply Learn Scale Up platform, we have like thousands of free courses available, and we see a, a, a similar pattern like uh, you, only a part of pattern like you, that many of them are from a small town, um, not sure what they should do in life. Somebody suggested that do engineering, so everybody they did engineering. But they didn't get a job after after completing their engineering. And they're trying to spend some time on one internet website to another internet website, talking to their friends, figuring it out that what can I do. Now let's say there is a one such student somewhere in India who's in who's in this mindset that okay, I now now that engineering is done, I don't have a job and I don't know what to do. What would be your advice to uh, those people? Uh, what uh, I would tell is like first take it slow. And uh, in life, we might have like uh, challenges, and we might be in like uh, tough situations. So just like take it slow, just like think what you're going through, and just try to like interact with like your friends or like family members, and just don't take decision with like uh, based on like whatever you talk to your friends or your family. Just give the understanding, and once you have like a lot of understanding, and it's now it is your turn to like figure it out what you should do because it's your life and it's your. Uh, Responsibility to like lead. So, Karthik, what I heard you saying is that uh, if you are in a small town uh, student, uh, just completed graduation and, and you don't know what to do, your suggestion is that you might talk to a lot of people and form your view, your own view. So, Hindi बोलते हैं कि सबकी सुनो but finally अपने को. So, I'm sure this there is some Tamil word also that explains the same emotion. Yeah, the same you can thing. tell. निंगल एड़क को मुड़ी बोल उंगल का ये. Okay, so that means the same thing. That you Correct. Yeah. So for whatever decision you take, that should be in your own hands. Yeah. yeah. Good. So I think uh, thank you everyone for taking time to listen to me and Karthik speaking about his journey. I hope you can relate to his story. Many of you who are watching this show have, are in a similar uh, situation as Karthik was in 2017, and he always followed his heart. He took uh, 
the right decision, keeping long term perspective in mind, and it is paying off. Like he's on his own, he's happy, he's adding more customers. Who knows? One year down the line, when with Karthik, instead of three clients, he might have thirty clients. Many of them might be international clients. So Karthik, I wish you all the best, and and thanks again for coming here. I'm sure your story will inspire a lot of other audience that we have who are watching us speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. All the best.